When we think about surviving the zombie apocalypse, we picture the strong men as portrayed in movies and on television. Society, however, isn't just made up of strong men. What about the weak ones? Certainly at the beginning of the zombie apocalypse, when it's just an outbreak, luck has a huge factor in determining whether or not you'll survive. Mostly, are you in the right place at the right time? Do you have quick access to your supplies and your survival group? Can you get out of the infected area quick enough? In nature, only the strong survive. It's been this way since the dawn of time. Usually society has enough strong men to offset any weaknesses, except for today, for the first time in history. 18% of the men are weak. 13% are disabled, 17% are 65 and older, 30% are incels, many of whom suffer from depression. What happened, and how do we correct it in time? Considering how men have been raised for the last few decades by women who have no idea what it takes to be a real man, any more than what men know what it is to be a real woman, we now have more weak men than strong. Men who have no idea what it is to be a man, a truly strong man. Society doesn't want most men to know how and what that means. Masculinity is now toxic. The girl power movement is pretty much in charge and successfully running things into the ground while men quietly walk away. All of this, of course, is government funded and approved. They're told what to do by the corporations that own them by funding their campaigns. The world has too many people to control, too many strong men that can and will eventually resist. So here we are now, a society that hates and resents men as much as it needs them. We've gone from being the respected head of the household to the walking wallets to be used. So how do we change this so men can survive the zombie apocalypse or worse, survive the government's attempt at destroying society which will cause a type 2 zombie apocalypse? And can we even change it at all? Should a zombie apocalypse start today? Within six months, 90% of the world's population will be dead. This is just one of the many reasons why more strong men are needed. So let's start with the types of weak men and see if there's anything that can be done to change that. The 18% of men that are weak fall into to the category due to obesity. This is one of the easiest problems to correct. Proper diet and exercises in most cases will correct this. Consulting a doctor before making any lifestyle change is a good idea. There may be other issues causing your obesity. Getting in shape before an apocalypse hits is a great idea. It's much harder for zombies to take down a man that can run fast and for long distances than an obese man who celebrates being able to walk to the nearest fast food place to eat without getting tired or winded or having a heart attack. To address the 13% of men that are disabled cannot be done as a group. These men are disabled for many reasons, many of them permanently. As with all predators, they seek out the weak and the sick. It's a much easier meal. Zombies are no different except they will hunt us all down. The weak and the sick are just the easiest to catch, that's all. The 17% of men in North America that are 65 years of age and older, well let's face it, seniors are not as fast as they were when they were in their 20s. They're not in as good shape and can suffer many health problems. This is simply nature at work you cannot blame them. The older you get, the weaker you get. So now we come to the 30% of men who are incels, many of whom suffer from depression, anger issues with society as a whole, and many consider self-deletion. These men, for whatever reason, cannot find a woman to have physical relationships with without paying for them. Many of these men are starting to consider the option of transitioning to be a woman. I'm not going to go into a lot into this, as it's been covered quite well by Better Bachelor on his channel. I'll leave a link to his video Video in the description below. However, I will say this. Recommending this procedure for those suffering from gender dysphoria is one thing. However, recommending transitioning to young men who are suffering through depression because a woman won't be with them physically is absolutely disgusting and predatory in my opinion. Just because you can't get physical intimacy from a woman doesn't mean the right answer is to become a woman. To me, this is an excuse to recruit more people into transitioning to help make big pharma and the medical industrial complex make more money. Surgery and drugs are more profitable than counseling. What these young men need, in my opinion, is to be reminded to work on themselves. 
usually when a man hits his 30s, women will start noticing them because he'll be more mature than his younger counterparts. He will have increased his earnings and holdings in life. And women love a man with money and potential. So now we have approximately 78% of all men being easy targets during a zombie apocalypse. And only 22% probably capable of fighting back or escaping to survive. That is less than one in four men. Things are not looking good, but however, I have really great news. Women are strong and independent and don't need a man. They can fight for us. So latch on to the near strong, independent woman that you can. Let her protect and provide for you. And while she's fighting zombies and protecting her man, you, of course, had better run and hide. I'm not sure I'd actually give any odds on the chances of her actually being successful. Are you one of the 22% who have a chance to survive? If not, what are you going to do about it? Let me know in the comments section, and I'll see you in the next video.